What I want to talk about now with Martina Bett, who is political correspondent at The Sun, is Rishi Sunak ruling out a general election on the 2nd of May. He's also said that uh, he wants to make sure that uh, it's a little bit later in the year. We've heard in the second half of the year, could it be October, November. Uh, also, uh, that uh, there's apparently a plot that Penny Mordaunt becomes the next Prime Minister. How realistic is that? Martina, great to have you on the programme again. How are you doing? Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Uh, uh, very well, thanks. So, uh, Rishi Sunak choosing ITV News West Country to rule out an election on the 2nd of May. I, I for one, wasn't massively shocked. What did you think of this? Obviously, it wasn't massively shocking because he did say at the beginning of the year that his working assumption was that he was going to call an election in the second half of the year. The problem was that in the last, cu uh, last couple of weeks, there were lots of rumours, pushed by Labour, of course, uh, that people started getting a little bit worried about. And I think the problem was that when these rumours started going around, Rishi Sunak did not um, rule out a May election. So people that were not convinced there was going to be one started getting getting a little bit worried. So what the Prime Minister thought uh, was, let's nip, this bud, let's nip the, the rumours in the bud, uh, let's put a stop to it. But the problem was it was too late because then, as you can see, we saw uh, Labour, the, the mirror chicken, and uh, Labour calling uh, Rishi Sunak a squat in number 10, playing that narrative that we saw with Gordon Brown many years ago. So if I was Rishi Sunak, I don't know why I wouldn't have done it earlier, to be honest. It's interesting, yes, uh, that, that was a big question. And actually, in regard to the 2nd of May, there are elections there for police and crime commissioners, for the Mayor of London, uh, mayors in the West Midlands and in uh, Manchester and various other places across the country as well. Um, we also have local elections. And what I learned working in politics for three and a half years is that you've always got to remember that every political party is basically based on volunteers. The people who receive a salary, and we'll talk about the MP salaries in a minute, Martina, but the people who receive a salary are a tiny elite at the top of any political party. It's really about the people who are the volunteers, who go out, who deliver the leaflets, who knock the doors and so on. And getting those people out uh, twice uh, in not just uh, for the 2nd of May elections but later in the year is something that Rishi Sunak will have to have calculated very, very carefully because if the next, if the general election is in October or November, all those people will uh, be encouraged anyway to go out again and volunteer uh, further. But that's something that, of course, if Rishi Sunak is asking people if he has a disastrous poll on the 2nd of May, which I think he probably will, uh, will be in a situation where those people may not want to actually go out for the Conservative Party anyway, although the Labour uh, Party people may well be even more motivated. Definitely. Uh, it's something I heard quite recently as well, and I was surprised because uh, I thought, what a good point, definitely. Uh, because we know that uh, the morale across the Conservative Party right now is really grim, and that we know that during these campaigns, who are the people that go out there doing the no uh, door knocking? Those are local councillors, and those were the people that would be out and about on May the 2nd. Yeah. So one of the arguments that people had for going early was to actually have all these people out campaigning for the Conservative Conservatives, which we might uh, might not see mm. if the general election is uh, held later on in the year. Will Richie Sunak be the leader, though, because there are reports in the Times and the Telegraph that a group of right-wing Conservative MPs believe Penny Mordaunt should lead the Conservatives into the next election. One person has been in touch on WhatsApp. Leslie says, I thought Kemi Badenoch was the favourite to replace Sunak, and I suppose she was, certainly, but Penny Mordaunt seen as something of a uniting character. But, of course, her seat, I mean, she has about a 15,000 majority, but at the same time, uh, that's not, not, not a safe seat. No such thing, really, for the Conservatives as a safe seat anyway. She's for Brexit, of course, but seen as too left-wing and too woke on issues such as gender, uh, gender identity, for example. What do you make of this, Martina? Yeah, so let's remember that when she stood for leadership, I mean, MPs were not exactly kind towards her at the yeah. time. There were lots of reports going around how she was too left-wing, how she was not good at uh, her job. We heard, like, her, uh, I think it was the trade secretary at the time saying that she was not good at her job. She was trade minister at the time. So I think it's important to remember that. Now, whether Sunak would be the prime minister at the time he calls a general election, I mean, it's likely, and I think the all these plots, we hear them week after week. We know that Tory MPs are incredibly worried about the, the chances right now. The problem is, even if we hear these reports of people possibly plotting, should we put Kemi Badenoch in? Should we put Benny Mordant in? Will they, would they really want the job when they know that they've got uh, a short defeat? Yeah, facing um, certain defeats, yeah. Months? 
Yeah, yeah, I know exactly. I'm not. I'm not sure. They they probably want to wait. All these people that so we know have got another example is Kemi Badiknok, right? She know we know that she probably would like to become leader at some point. Does she want to become a leader right now? Not well, there so sure. there are lots of people. She correctly say, Martina. There are lots of people. Robert Jenrick's another one. Maybe James Cleverly as well are thinking. Yes, I'd like to be leader of the Conservative Party, but as you say, not at the moment uh, because of this. Uh, pretty much assured defeat. There seem to be lots of plots going around at the moment. We were talking last week about Judy McAlpine. Lady McAlpine is a lot of money. is putting money into the Conservative Democratic Organisation. Yet another one of these groups that uh, seems to want to unseat Rishi Sunak or at least uh, make some problems for him. It's such a febrile atmosphere at the moment. Some people may well say to Rishi Sunak, look, why don't you just put an end to this? And, you know, I suppose it is that squatter in Downing Street kind of theory to say, actually, why don't you just call an election and get it over with? But of course, he'll want to be Prime Minister for two years. He'll want to have that longevity. And no one really, uh, apart from Harold Wilson, who was unwell, uh, gives up uh, Downing Street and uh, 10 Downing Street uh, voluntarily. I mean, I think the worry is that things might just get worse, right? We've got the local elections on May the second. We've got summer, and we know that small boats are just going to increase yeah. with the nicer weather. So the worry is that things are just going to get worse. So why not just call a general election now? Um, we still know that Tory strategists believe that the general election is going to be held in October, possibly. I think the sun looked last week uh, some, somewhere around October the 17th. Um, this is because the king has got some prior appointments uh, for the Commonwealth. So I think number 10 will want to go long. And uh, I think some... Uh, I'm not, you know, even though some Tory MPs might prefer to go early, um, I think number 10 will want to hold on.